Hello there, this is Welch ASMR 82. Hey, how are you doing? So, in today's video, I just want to talk about the weekend fixtures that we just had on the weekend of the 20th of August and the 21st of August. I watched a couple of matches and the Premier League was really, really exciting this weekend, so I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Let's have a look at some of the results. So, Spurs beat Wolves 1-0. Crystal Palace beat Aston Villa 3-1. Everton drew with Notts Forest 1-0. Fulham beat Brentford 3-2. Leicester lost at home to Southampton 2-1. And Arsenal beat Bournemouth 3-0. And then today, really, really good matches. Leeds beat Chelsea 3-0. Comprehensive victory there. Brighton beat West Ham in the London Stadium 2-0. And Newcastle drew with Man City in an absolutely amazing game that I watched this evening. With Manchester City 3 all. Okay, let's just look at the scorers. I'm just looking at the BBC app here. Or the BBC website. So Kane scored in the 64th minute. Perisic will be really happy... He started and he got an assist. I know that he hasn't been starting, so he must have been a little bit frustrated. Uh, a player of his credentials really would like to be starting in the Premier League. That's the reason he came, even though he's 31, 32 now. So, um, yeah, he, he managed to get a start and actually get an assist for Kane, so they beat them 1-0. I noticed that Wolves had their new striker who they bought from Valencia up front. Um, who was it? Gonzalo Gage. But they are struggling for goals, Wolves. Okay. Crystal Palace, I just watched on Match of the Day. They were really good. Zaha was just fantastic. He scored two. And is it Mateta? scored one. Watkins opened the scoring for Aston Villa. There were quite a few VAR decisions in this one, so it could have gone either way. It was a bit chaotic at times, but Crystal Palace always have been very difficult to beat at home. Um, and I was saying to my dad that I think that Zahar is better at Crystal Palace than he would be at a massive club. He seems to be that one player that does better being the star player in a smaller club rather than going to a Man United or a Chelsea. So yeah, that was 3-1. Everton, so happy to see my Welsh wonder kid. Brennan Johnson score again. He's got two in the Premier League in three games. I think he might be starting for Wales at the World Cup. Um, looks like Demerai Gray got an 88th minute assist Pickford the assist so he would have um, maybe kicked I haven't seen the this match actually so that was a late point for Everson oh gosh that's a shame Brennan Johnson looked to have scored a winner for the visitors that would have condemned Everton to a third defeat in three games but they scored in the 18th minute oh darn Nottingham Forest have got three Welsh players so they are my um, team to watch I love Nico Williams and Brennan Johnson and their backup goalkeeper is uh, Wayne Hennessy as well. So yeah, I always, I'm always i supporting Nottingham Forest this year. Uh, because Swansea aren't in the Premier League, of course. Fulham beat Brentford. I watched this game. I don't know. Mitrovic, I think he's going to be amongst the top scorers this season. I think he's ready to prove himself. Brentford nearly got back into it. If it hadn't been for a 90th minute winner... They would have managed to get a draw. Um, I thought Pereira had a really good game. Um, after years of going out on loan, being owned by Manchester United. Um, I'm, I'm still waiting for Harry Wilson to come back for Fulham. He's injured at the moment. But they have hit the ground running in the Premier League. Have they got two wins out of three? Oh, they're actually in fourth place. Yeah, they've got a win and two draws. 
Orcs are undefeated so far, so they're doing brilliantly. And they're just really exciting to watch. He's got them playing really well at the manager. Um, yeah, and I just, I really hope this is Mitrovic's year. He deserves to, um, to do well in the Premier League. He always seems to do well at international level and as well in the championship. But, well, I say he does well. He is the record holder, I think, for goals in the championship as of last year. I'm really worried about Leicester. They haven't signed anyone. And they haven't got any points yet, have they? Mm, oh, they got one point. They drew with Brentford, was it, the other week? See, so yeah, Madison, who, oh, if they can keep him next season, I don't even know if they'll keep him until the end of August, to be honest. He's such a good player. His stats, I was watching this, I think it was match of the day two, and they were saying that of all the midfielders who are English in the Premier League, he has the best stats for chances created, goals scored, and assists. He's way better, so if he doesn't start for England, then basically it's just unfathomable. He is amazing. But Adams, they scored first, and then Adams got two goals. Che Adams, with uh, an assist from the very uh, consistent... James Will Prowse. Leicester will be gutted about that to lose at home as well. They have not had a good start to the season. And then I just watched this on Match of the Day as well. Arsenal, it's very easy, early to say, isn't it? But they are top of the league. They are unbeaten. Three wins out of three. They look good, i got to be honest. It's, um, it's a refreshing change and... Gabi Jesus, who should have had a goal, VAR put it off. Was it for a hand that was out? I don't believe that the hands shouldn't count for offsides. But um, his dribble that set up Odegaard's first goal was magnificent. He was just fantastic. And then he set up the second one, also for Odegaard. Um, Saliba's individual goal, despite being a centre-back, was amazing. Good pass from Shaka, who seems to be playing well. Yeah, I think that um, Gabi Jesus come in there, who I didn't rate at all when he played for Man City, and he's making me eat my words. He has had an amazing start to life at Arsenal. And then today, I watched this match live at the time. It was insane. Leeds ran them off the park. I think the statistic was that they ran 11 kilometres more than Chelsea in the match. They were chasing every single ball. They were hounding the Chelsea players. They didn't know where to pass, where to look, whether there was someone coming from behind, from the side. They just were all over the place. They, it was, yeah, they just trounced them. So, um, yeah, Leeds United 3, Chelsea 0, and to be honest, it could have been 4. It wasn't a fluke, it was... It wasn't close. They did not stand a chance. Chelsea. So that was well deserved. Um, I haven't seen the highlights of this match, but West Ham, I'm really worried about them too. Brighton and Old Albion, not worried about them at all. At one point today, they were in the top four before um, Man City got a draw. They've started magnificently. Their manager's fantastic. Um, I think they're absolutely fine. I'm very worried about West Ham, though. West Ham have a habit in the Premier League of either fin nearly finishing in the top four or being relegated. They just can't do mid-table at all. Um, yeah, they're either amazing or terrible. And... Yeah, I think this might be their terrible season. The funny thing is, of course, that Man United tomorrow are playing Liverpool. Neither have started particularly well, to be honest with you. But if Man United lose, they will be rock bottom of the Premier League after three games, which is shocking. And because it's such a big match against Liverpool, if they lose it by more than a goal... So they lose it by 2-3-0, being at home. I think it already puts question marks under the new manager. 
Um, it shouldn't after three games, but that's just the nature of football, isn't it? So yeah, Brighton, well done. And then this game was just insane. Um, I've got a very, very soft spot for Newcastle United. Um, I've supported them for years as my sort of second team um, because they've been in the Premier League lots. And yeah, I'm really happy for Almiron, who's got a bit of a... They, Manchester City players criticised him last year and they, sh they shouldn't. It's very rude, so I'm glad that he scored. Haaland was amazing. Um, San Maximal was outstanding. I love tricky, fast, dribbling wingers. Um, he is a joy to watch when he plays like that. Trippier's free kick was m amazing. I said at the time that if Gareth Bale had scored something like that, then they'd be playing it on repeat for weeks and months. Trippier's free kick was just insane, and Wilson's goal was beautiful as well. So, um, yeah, that was just a fantastic game. I'm a bit sorry for Newcastle that they didn't win it, but because um, at one time they were 3-1 ahead. But, you know, it is Man City, and they, Man City could have won it at the end, so maybe a draw is better than um, they're expecting at the beginning of the match. I thought they'd lose 3-0, so to get 3 all is fantastic. He's a fantastic coach. He's um, doing really well for Newcastle. I like Eddie Howe. He's good. Okay, and then honourable mentions. Um, Celtic won in the Scottish League. Who's played in Spain today? Brazil, Belgian, Austrian, French, Italian, German, Spanish. So, Valencia lost to Athletic, Bil Athletic Bilbao, my favourite team in Spain, so I'm glad that they won. Athletic Madrid lost at home to be Real, wow. And Barcelona beat Real Sociedad 4-1. Lewandowski scoring two. Dembele and Fati Vieira with the other goals. Fati Vieira scored one, made two. Wow, he had a good game. Robert Lewandowski scored his first competitive goal for Barcelona on his 34th birthday. Villarreal, after that win, are top. Barcelona are in fifth, but it's only two games in. Um, in the German Bundesliga, Bayern Munich, oh gosh, 7-0. Um, I've done a video on them. I'll release it very shortly, asking the question, trying to answer why do Bayern Munich always win. Um, I hope it's an interesting video for you. And Cologne, my are they my favourite? Yeah, I think they're my because I go to Cologne regularly, so they're my favourite Bundesliga team. Went all with Eintracht Frankfurt in Italy. AC Milan could only get a draw away to Atalanta. Atalanta. Napoli beat Monza, draw with Fiorentina, Empoli and Bologna and Hellas Verona. And in France, yeah, Paris Saint-Germain 7-1 against Lille. That's pretty devastating, who scored? Mbappe hat-trick, Messi 1, Hakimi 1, Neymar 2. Neymar with a hat-trick of assists. Ouch. Nice, um, Aaron Ramsey's new team lost, unfortunately. Okay, and let's look at Saturday's results for those leagues as well. Honourable mention to Wales. <laughs> um, the New Saints beat Penabont. 1-0. Okay, so... Spanish La Liga. Real Madrid 1-4-1. Goals from Benzema, Modric, Vinicius and Valverde. Iago Aspas, former Liverpool player, getting the penalty for the home team. I have a Celta Vigo top. I used to support them when I first started watching Spanish football. Mallorca lost at home to Real Betis, who spent big this summer. Osasuna 2-0 winners against Cadiz. Uh, Bayern Leverkusen lost at home 3-0 to Hoffenheim. Borussia Dortmund lost at home to Werder Bremen 2-3-2. Two, two. Um, oh no. Goes this is like Swansea playing. 
goals in the 89th, 93rd and 95th minutes. Oh god, they were 2-0 up until the 89th minute. They surrendered a two-goal lead and added time to lose to visitors Werder Bremen. Oh no. Um, Augsburg lost at home to Mainz. Stuttgart lost at home to Freiburg. Everyone losing at home. Wolfsburg drew to Schalke, my team in Germany. Schalke. Oh no, I said that Cologne are my team. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I've got two teams. And Union Berlin beat Leipzig. Well, that's quite a big result for them. And in Italy, Torino Lazio draw. Udinese Salernitana draw. Inter Milan won against Spezia 3 0. Martinez, Lauritano Martinez, General Hoglum Correa. Lukaku with the assist and Jacko. And Sassuolo beat Lecce. And in France, Monaco lost home 4 1 to Lens. And Marseille won 2 1 at home to Nantes. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and me just having a little ramble about the weekend's results. If you want me to do it more regularly, then please drop me a comment and tell me so. And also leave a like. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you're nice and relaxed. Um, see you soon. Take care. Night-night.